I'm going to go to what Gregory said about the hospital. Okay. Yeah, and uh, of course, my grandmother, I should see her. Well, you told me but that she first, lives a kind of a difficult life, right? She wanders around and sits in the town yeah. square. Yeah, but first I go to the hospital. I'm just okay. thinking. Okay. Uh, so the uh, first thing that you will know is that uh, your sister Clara is there, uh, oh. who is very happy to see you and is uh, speaking as though everything is normal. You know, Mama had a little accident, uh, but she's going to be okay. Um, she uh, knows that you brought her here, and so she's very happy that you took care of Mama. And really? she's also very happy to, uh, you know, to see you. And she, she doesn't really understand the nature of the crisis and is... Uh, speaking of things in a fashion that is just like a little child who has been told that everything will be okay. And she's carefully explaining this to you in case you are worried. Thank you, Clara. Did you talk with mom? Uh, well, she's sleeping. I'm glad to see you. Do you know anything about our father? Our father? Well, no. Only that I'm sad that I wasn't good enough. It's not your fault, Clara. Um, I know, but still. Yeah, I know. I'm going to see Mom. Okay. So... Well, I want to talk with Mom about what, this. What do you want to uh, talk to her about? So, Mom, what do you know about this ring? Uh, she doesn't want to talk to you, is disconnected from you, uh, and is, is, won't look at you and says, well, I know you stole it from me. Where is dad? Um... I know At this point, like... she's almost talking like a bit of a robot, mm -hmm. like the, the not the, the repeating phrases uh, that oh. are almost without any cognitive effort, um, and is a uh, repeats to you that you know how should she know? She how sh how should she know? I mean, she did everything she could. Uh, that that the it was ex everything was exactly how he wanted, and did what he said, and did how he wanted, and yet everything fell apart, and it must be because of you. And she almost describes it as the perfect thing. Her mother was happy; she was happy; her daughter should be happy. But look what happened. She did her part. Why did you ruin it? But like I said, your mother sounds like a robot. She sounds almost, uh, she won't look at you. She's talking to the wall. She's using these phrases over and over. And it is, uh, you can tell, you're a sorcerer. You can tell this is the humanity loss. That the ring inflicted upon her. Oh, okay. <laughs> My life is so fucked up. <laughs> well, not really. I mean, like I said, this is a <clears throat> this is this is a lot like what it did to Omar. I know what it uh, did. What it did to Omar. Yeah. 
In other words, it's trying to evict you out of the circle. Yeah, but I don't really understand what happens if I'm out. Well, there's Clara. <laughs> yeah. But of course, Clara would have to but stop loving you too. You guys are starting to see the point here? Kind of. <laughs> but I'm not crying anymore. <laughs> That's right. Now? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, well, I need to talk with Chloe, I think. <laughs> okay. Well Yeah, unfortunately that failed role is not helping because I'm keeping my mouth shut about ten things yeah. I could be saying right now. Yeah. That, okay. the, about the this specific situation. Because what you have is you trying to talk to your mother and but you are just trying to get information about it, her out of her. And she is repeating these phrases that push you further and further and further away and probably are not helping your character's temper any. And uh, then also, uh, uh, when you leave, which you had just implied you were going to do, Clara says, it was nice you could tell her that you loved her. She really appreciates She would really, she, I'm glad, I know she appreciates it. Did I say that? No. But Clara thinks you did. Thank you, Clara. Mm. Let's hang out sometime. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so okay. There you go. Um, Clara uh, uh, does mention to you uh, Mama said she lost a ring. Did you see it? No. When did you see it? She says, oh, no, no, I don't know. She just said. Do you think it's important for her? She talked about it. When? When she woke up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have to think about this. <laughs> okay. Uh, during your conversation with your mother, there is a role that I want I need to make. Mm. The question is whether she provokes you into verbal violence into whether she provokes you into doing something cruel and maybe even physical toward her. Sure. So the question is uh, that you are going to roll your will because you did not go in there with hostile intent, correct? True. Um, and uh, what, and I think difficult. your price may, may apply here, correct? Yeah, of course, yeah. So that's minus one to your will. So it's one. Hmm? Cool. <laughs> we needed some drama here. Roll. Five. Oh, that's quite terrible. <laughs> yeah. Your character loses your temper. What do you do? Well, so what I do when I lose my temper... Well, it should be something like now you now stop to repeat this thing in loop, and I'm I slap her. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So the uh, the interesting thing here is that uh, therefore you go out and have that conversation with Clara. Mm. So you see how I played that? I played it as a flashback. We yeah. Saw you okay. Come out, so have Clara a doesn't know Clara, it. Clara, but you know you did that. Yeah. Of <laughs> course. Okay. We're on. All right. Um, so to continue with that remarkable uh, success with lore, which is sort of feeding through this whole session uh, for the two of you, uh, what you are 
coming to understand, I think, is that the uh, the ring is as long as if if the if you or Clara could be accepted for your imperfections then you could be a family without needing to be perfect and the ring would lose its power. So accepted by... Each other. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Each other as a sister. Well, Clara seems to be on board with this. The question is whether you and your mother are, and what is the situation with your grandmother. As a matter of fact, it would be a really good idea to follow up for me to see what happens when you go and see if you can find her. Yeah, that's the next thing I'm going to do. Go to find my grandmother. Well... Uh, it's a bad night in the district uh, at this time. There have been uh, some people who want to go and teach the squatters and the immigrants and the interlopers who are taking our jobs. Uh, they'd like to teach them a lesson. And so there has been street fighting in the neighborhood uh, now, strangely enough, for a little ways all around your church, everything seems fine. Because that's what you do. But everywhere else is chaos tonight. So, so we need to find her now. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm very grateful uh, to Epiphany huh, this last day. So I'm really like feeding her every right. day. Uh -huh. uh, I get her blood. Uh, yeah, we, we surely have a deal with butchery or something like this. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, sometimes when, when I really want to be grateful, we, we like we okay. drop like buckles of blood on, <laughs> on the statues. <laughs> like. Oh, that's really fascinating. Okay. Um, Okay, okay, yeah, that's kind of interesting. So the next thing we see is like a, a, we could move to look at, at one of the statues in the church, the old statues. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah, and then blood splashes <laughs> down on it and drains down the side. Yes, mm -hmm. I see. Okay. And so, even in the, how do we call this, the, um, the stop? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would, okay. Go ahead. And so my point is, I, I want help to find... Yeah, I want my grandmother. Bring her here. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, you don't have a contact. I mean, here's oh, the wait. thing. When Chloe came to the church, she came through the contact ritual that she herself has made. So Dude. bringing her through was very easy for Epiphany. Epiphany cannot just reach out into Marseille and pull anybody that she wants into the church. Mm. So, uh, but she can help you find her. So, uh, I know your demon's abilities. Go ahead and roll uh, eight dice for the demon's power. Ten. Well, okay. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. Whoa. What is your next value? S, uh, three nines. No, not a problem. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. excellent. Uh, it should be fairly clear that uh, to you uh, that your grandmother is in the middle of a, uh, of a fight. There's uh, people fighting uh, with bats and uh, some of them have brought guns that you make. I don't know if you know about this, but if you take a strong rubber band mm -hmm. and you take a, uh, a bullet 
and a nail and a piece of wood and put it in the right shape and do that and you can make a little trigger or something just like a primitive rubber band thing that will snap mm -hmm. against the bullet and it will shoot fuck yeah it's a one shot oh, no. and half the time it will blow your hand off but it works and so uh some people have those and um yeah in english they're called a zip gun and right. so the uh the the so it's a it's the if in the the towering stone walls of the streets in the old town and the uh i'm thinking in marseille those incredible walls that are by the water mm -hmm. Um, and so, uh, and, and I can't even say a district because the camera just goes ever and ever and <laughs> kilometers of these amazing fortresses and things. And so, um, and so we are, of course are dealing with a running fight along the side of one of those and an old woman who is sitting there, you know, just drawing circles or something or thinking or whatever it is that she does. And uh, you did hear what I said, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't say drawing squares or diamonds or stars. And so uh, the uh, and, and so in the middle of these people who are busy beating each other and running, fighting, things like that. Okay, so, so I'm going to get up, but with some of my guys, some of my actual like, friends, surely Omar. Sure. Uh, you are going to need to make a cover roll, but without the demon's help, because this is not a normal, standard, bureaucratic, get-along, life kind of thing, which is what the demon can help you with. This is you. Mm -hmm. This is you. Roll your cover, which is five. Then, and what is your next value? Nine. Excellent. No problem. You have succeeded. And so I rolled a 10, a 5, and a 3. So uh, what happens is that you must, uh, you, you have no problem. You and Omar organize some guys and people who are good at this kind of thing. Uh, you make your way to the right part of the city. Uh, you are able to uh, quickly dispose of the problem people in an organized way uh, mm -hmm. and are able to take your grandmother to the church. This this is an excellent example of what your character is good at. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's almost as though we were watching the scene where your grandmother is in danger and then the five of you just appear and completely solve the problem and take her out. So. Yeah, it fits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally fits. Yeah.